Hello my crafty friends! It's been a while since I made a tower pinwheel card. I needed to make an anniversary card for our daughter and her husband, so I decided this was a good time to make a tower pinwheel card. I'll show you the card and then go over some of the details. So the front has a flower spray with love. The second page says happy anniversary. The third one, and they lived happily ever after. And finally an area for us to write our message and sign our names. These tower pinwheel cards, they are as much fun to play with after you make them as they are to make them. I've done a number of them. I will put in the description box below a couple of links. One, I will link my blog uh, where, with the label for tower pinwheel cards. Sometimes they're called pinwheel tower cards. I've, so I've got labels for both of those. They stand beautifully for display. They're nice and sturdy, but they fold down really nice and flat for mailing. Normally I make my tower itself out of patterned paper and that's a tip I got from Linda. This one is a 7 by 5 inch tower pinwheel card so it fits in an A7 envelope for mailing or a 5 by 7 envelope and I will also link in that description box Linda's tutorial. She has a great tutorial on making tower pinwheel cards in various sizes and I don't feel right just copying her measurements and doing it her tutorial for you so I will send you to her. I think she deserves the views on YouTube and it's a great YouTube video. So the pattern paper and the stickers that I've used are from this flower market uh, retired pattern paper package from Cartabella. There's also a 12 by 12 sheet of stickers on it. Flowers here are one of the stickers from the 12 by 12 sheet. I did attach it down with wet glue even though it is a sticker. I'm never convinced how that will hold up. So like I said wet glue and then I used pops of color for all of the sparkles and these beautiful mirrored hearts. I've shown them in other videos. They're from Cat Scrappiness. I have them linked on my blog and I just love the little bit of sparkle that they add to your cards. The Love is a die from Pink Fresh Studios. It is their Essentials, let me see here, Essential Classic Words. And there's Happy Birthday, Best Wishes, Love, Hooray, Congrats, Celebrate, Hello, Beautiful, and Thank You. And each of the dies comes with a shadow die as well. That is not a new set in my craft room, but I do get a lot of use out of it. So the love was cut from more of the pattern paper and then a white cardstock shadow. It's popped up with foam tape, but it's thin foam tape, so there's not a lot of bulk to it. On this page we have more of the mirrored hearts, some more of the patterned paper and stickers. The heart stickers were little stickers that were included and then I, everything also got some more of the pops of color which is like a cross between stickles and uh, nouveau drops. Again I've shown it before and it's linked on my blog. I really am enjoying it. It was a free with purchase from scrapbook.com back in December and I've been using it pretty much ever since. The happy anniversary and the and they lived happily ever after is is a tailored expressions stamp. It is from one of their simple strips stamp sets and then there's the die so it, it stamps as a single piece and then there is the coordinating die with one stamping and one pass through your machine you get a whole variety of sentiments. It's one I use a lot as well. Again not new to my craft room but I use it a lot. For my little circle here I used the lacy circles from Waffle Flower. They have alternating stitched circles and kind of an eyelet. I used that. More stickers, some more mirrored hearts and then the final page has another one of the stitched circles there and as I said that's where we can write a message or sign our name. Um, more mirrored hearts and more stickers. So a nice card that I can send. It, it will mail for a single stamp and I know my daughter and her husband are going to really enjoy it. If you enjoyed my video today please give it a thumbs up, check those links below and subscribe to see more. That's it for me today.